What is going on everybody? Welcome back. I am glad to be here. I have not played this game in about three weeks. Actually, I haven't played any games in about three weeks, maybe even a month. Um, waiter, where's my beer? Where's that waiter? There he is. I am finally back and I have no clue what is going on. Seems like it's night time. I don't remember where I left off uh, or what time of the day I left off in the last or latest episode, if you will. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get back to speed in no time. Uh, I hear a lot of annoying neighbors, so we're just going to maybe... Uh, clean up a little bit dangerous parts around here huh ow attack boys and girls very good oh my god I forgot to say hi to these two hey buddies all right what is going on guys how is everyone doing i have not been online uh for a good while some of you might know why some of you might not uh i was actually down south uh with my uh, wife for the first time oh hello blue pants um we were down south on our honeymoon was uh very well, at first, the weather was not that great, but then it cleared out, and it uh, doesn't really matter. We had a lot of fun. We had a really nice hotel, really good service. Um, we loved it. We loved it. It was just a, a different experience. Usually, if we go to Cuba or... Um, well, we don't really go a lot, but uh, the the last couple of times we went we went to different uh, countries and uh, it was not the same it was not the same we were trying to go cheap and this time around we went uh, I'd say uh, not all out but a bit of a little bit out and uh, well we got what we paid for really really nice really good service it was amazing um, Sorry, I'm running around like a uh, headless chicken, but I'm trying... Oh! That hurt. Who did that? Who did that? Huh. Sometimes I wander. Anyhow. Okay, so... Ooh. Smack the door with a potato and uh, all right guys let's let's get back on track I'm a little bit too excited as I have not played in a while and I haven't seen or heard you guys in a while so here we are here we be we're just going to do a little bit of uh, work around the area here and I'm hoping not to get into too much trouble with uh, with the locals uh, I actually need, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to place one of these things around here. Um, I don't know where. I think right here is going to be fine. And I wanted to keep, because um, I have to go uh, running back and forth to get the hoe so I can do some work in these farms. And I don't really like it. Um, I am not sure if I have shown you what I have done so far. I've done a little bit of renovating around here. So we have um, we have some changes on uh, online in here. And uh, yeah, I try not to uh, bore you guys with the whole... Um, with a complete gameplay as such. Uh, oh my god. Good job, puppy. Oh. There goes the... I'm wondering if they're coming around. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to bore you with... Uh... Hey, buddy. Where are you going? 
eat. And, um, what's this guy doing? Not bad. All right. Daytime has begun. Uh, everybody's out. I'm going to put Lobo down here. I don't want him to follow me. We are going to, if I'm not mistaken, we wanted to continue. Well, we didn't want to continue. I wanted to continue. And, um... The next thing that was on my list, as far as the gameplay goes, was to get our uh, enchanting table going. We have enough diamonds, we have enough obsidian, and uh, what I think I'm missing is... I oh know, I do have books, which is good. Um, and I believe that was all for the enchanting table. So we're going to create one right now. I'm not quite sure, I don't quite remember, but we are going to create one and I have a perfect spot for it, I think. Um, I'll actually double check the previous videos just to see if I have recorded any of these constructions. I don't think so, I didn't even, I didn't even make a speed run, I believe. Uh, I was just trying to uh, get us up to speed uh, as far as the um, and their dragon goes because I really want to get to it in this series and I don't want to drag it over for over, you know, 100 episodes. Uh, so here is the location that we're going to use for our enchanting chamber. And I'm not quite sure where exactly I'm going to place it, but I'll probably do a cleanup over here. Figure out how do I want to do it. There's... Um, there are two ways of doing it. The one that I really like is with the um, with the enchanting table in the middle, and then the um, bookshelves surrounding it. The other one is uh, surrounding it double stacked, uh, which uh, of course makes the enchanting chambers a little bit smaller, not as uh, ginormous, uh, which I would like to avoid. And uh, let me see if this, yeah, 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 that's the one. Very good. All right, so we've got our enchanting table now. Now we're going to have to find uh, leather. So today our plan is going to be to get the enchanting table down. Maybe we can do a little enchantment just to show you guys how it works. I'm pretty sure uh, most of you already know. Some of you that are new to Minecraft, maybe are um, maybe you guys are just curious and looking, uh, uh, checking this gameplay out just to see how it works. In which case, you will maybe learn a, a, a thing or two uh, about the game itself. And uh, what we're going to do is that area over there, I think I'm going to clear out or I'm going to find a nice clear spot. And I want to bring some cows around. I don't know from which direction. Uh, the cows that we found down that way, which was, let me see, west, I think. That's where the sun sets down. Um, they are quite far away. And I don't know how is it going to work out for us to bring them all the way down here. So maybe we can go in a different direction. I think I explored that way over there. So I'll do a little bit of exploring off camera. Uh, see if I can find cows close by and uh, we'll drag them, bring them in over here and probably have a farm set up over there because we are going to need a lot of leather. And that was an egg. Where'd it go? I'm not crazy. Did you guys see that? There was an egg, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, well. All right, then. So I will be right back with a little bit of a um, clear space. We'll put down the table and uh, we'll start maybe building a little roof and a couple of walls around it so that we are protected when we're enchanting. So, don't go away, I will be back shortly. About three shovels later, and with the night upon us, I have decided to stop digging and working for the night. I'm hearing a lot of shuffling uh, of uh, 
feet that are not mine in the surrounding area and I just realized I still have the diamonds and the enchanting table on me so I just cleared out this area over here and I think this is gonna be more than enough for us to build uh, we're just going to hide out for the night I'm going to take a quick nap so that it's daytime and we are going to get back and figure out where we want to place our oh my god what's going on in here Shebus. All right, so we are going to figure out where we're going to place our enchanting table, and I hope th these guys are going to just stare at me while I sleep, aren't they? Creeps. Get out of my house. All right, stay in. Uh, getting hungry, and barbecue's cooking. Check him out. Tag, buddy. Whoops. Hmm, jerky. Here's jerky. For you. And I don't want to flood you, so let's... Where did I put the... Oh, here you are. Sometimes I lose myself. I have no idea where's... Where's everyone? Alright. Uh, let's get on up here. I'm going to leave that thing over there. So... Um, so again, I don't know if I want to go very big on this, uh, build or I, or if I just want to have something basic, something small, uh, that will do the job. So it's going to be a double stack. doesn't look that nice. Well, depends. Depends on how you place them. I'll probably just place them sporadically, sort of a random um, all right, let's see. Where do we want it? We want it maybe around here. Sh sure, why not? We'll put the box right there. Ooh. Interesting. What do you think, guys? That looks nice. And, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh. I have a couple arrows. I don't want to waste them on this guy. Oh. How did I block that? I am not sure. Coming up. Oops. Blank. Hi. He had it charged. He had the bow trained at me. I just popped out of from behind the tree and he released it okay um so if my bookshelves are going to be, i think 15 of them is the maximum stack right because i usually build it this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and if I do a double stack, and I basically have a little entrance over here, right? But if I do a double stack, I might be able to get away with... Well, they have to be surrounding anyway, so... Might as well. You know what? I'm wondering if I break it... Am I gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do research. I might... I might want to bring it up one level and have a little staircase or something going up. Um, because I wanted to make the, the foundation out of cobble. So something like this, I guess. And sounds about right. Now this... Probably make it out of wood. We could leave this guy down under. Um, ah, dang it. All right, give me a couple of seconds. I'll see if I can break this without losing it. I don't think I need silk touch. I think just by popping it out of that slot is going to be fine. I'll be right back. All right, we should be good. 
uh, it says in the wiki that mining it without a pickaxe is going to drop nothing. So, uh, ooh, all right, lucky day. I'm usually not that lucky. All right, so we are going to make sure. That's a fast way of popping all the torches. And uh, the ground, I am going to make it out of spruce planks. It's going to be pretty dark. It's going to be nice, hopefully. I'm wondering if I should do this over here. And let's just do this, right? I need some more. I don't know how much more. I don't really want to do mat right now. Uh, good, 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 good. All right. Uh, for the top, I don't know where should we have the entrance? Should we have it this way? Maybe we can just continue the little road over here. Just a little path, a staircase. And you know what? I'm just going to plop this guy down already. About here. And we're going to be able to continue building our walls afterwards. But we can definitely already start enchanting. I cannot wait. So we are probably going to do it right now. Let's see what we can get out of a first level. Maybe we can do like a little unbreaking or something like that. I'm honestly, I, I have no clue uh, what's, okay, let's just drop this back here. I don't want to lose any of this. Look at the amount of saplings we got. I'm going to have to drop off the dirt, but I really want to get a first enchantment on camera. So I know we need lapis lazuli, laz lazuli, lapis. Let's just call it lapis to avoid any misunderstandings. And uh, I think, let's see what we can do with our iron sword. Sharpness one, sweeping edge. Sharpness one is nice. It's going to add a little bit more attacks. So we have six right now. Let's just try it. Plop. Seven attack damage. Yeah, that adds one. And look at this shiny thing, huh? Oh, yes. Okay, so by adding bookshelves all around this dude, we are going to get better level enchantments, something higher up. Um, and I know that usually putting it on the equipment is not the most efficient. Oh, you know what? Um, cross your eyeballs. I want to get... No, I don't want to get power. I want to get Infinity Bow. And I know that once you have placed it, it already chooses what it needs. So either it will take another bow or you can actually enchant books. Once you enchant the book, that particular skill is going to be stuck on it. And we're just going to be able to use the anvil to combine the equipment and the book together that will give us the enchantment right so we don't have to spend uh our life making the same weapon again and again and again and then just you know throwing them away i guess because can't really do anything about it um what is that moving around there nothing i'm seeing things good all right well guys i think we are good as far as the enchanting goes i am going to continue on building around here and uh, please do let me know if you want to see the build or if you want to just see the completed result i am in the meantime going to like i said uh, get a location over there for a cow farm and it's got to be pretty big because in real life usually these farms are quite huge. You need the cows to have enough space to move around, right? They migrate from one end to another to get the fresh grass that's growing. So we are going to get that. Ah, the sun is going... Oh, look at them. He was looking at him. They're pals. They're friends. 
I'm glad everything's working out with you guys. All right, leather for emerald. Emerald for leather pants. We do have emerald, but I don't really need leather pants. Oh, look. Everybody's being social around here. The interesting thing, I can't talk to these guys yet, so I haven't done any trading. I don't know if I want to do this during the night, so how about you give me guys... You know what? Don't give me anything. I'm going to run with you. Come along. We're going to take a peek around here. And at the same time, maybe we can um, test our sword. We're going to take a peek around here and see where we want to build the farm. We could just build it with heels and, uh, and everything so that the cows have place to walk around. Uh, maybe we can have them... What's that? Mushrooms. Uh, maybe we can have them walking around this area. And uh, we're going to have to light it up for sure. So... Oh! Hello! I think this is the side, uh, the other side that we... Uh, that is connected to the hole that we jumped into over there. Okay, so I will get this cleaned up a little bit i'll find a nice spot maybe i'm not even going to clean it up i'm going to leave it as is maybe adjust a little bit and i'll just stuff um a fence around sort of a perimeter fence and we're gonna probably not this episode but in the next one we're going to go get some cows and i'm gonna have to work on uh, our enchanting chamber as well. So we can probably complete that next time. So stick around, I'm going to be back in a couple of minutes. I just need to, come on people, you don't have any other place to be? Why you like it here so much? Anywho, I'll be right back. Guys, check it out, there's an Enderman. You think we can take him? Their new sword. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, but I have to find a spot to hide because he's gonna slap me once and I'm done. Hey, sir. Oh. Oh, there he comes. Uh oh. Uh oh. We did it. Cheating, but we did it. Oh man, I... That noise that they make creeps me out so much. He didn't drop anything. Too bad. We could start getting the Ender... Ender Eyes or Ender Pearls. I'm not quite sure what they're called. So that we can track our way back... Uh, to, uh, to the stronghold where... The portal to the Ender Dragon is. But I'm gonna have to be much better equipped can just go with a level one sharpness enchanted sword and nothing else on my on the rest of my equipment i need a infinity bow that's for sure because i know you have to shoot the dragon you could also hit it but um mostly it's flying around you and trying to attack you so um yeah sorry about that i just wanted to show you how we deal with uh neighbors that are not um, welcome in the surroundings and uh, yeah I'm going to start uh, looking for that perimeter fence to see where is it gonna go and what is it gonna go through I'll probably block this hole off so I'll be back in a blink of an eye all right everybody we are back and with the sun going down we are just going to take a quick peek at what we have uh, and i was just waiting for darkness so i could light up the uh pen that we have built for our cows so let's take a quick stroll over there and uh if i can go down the stairs down the ladder that will be nice and I think this is going to be it for this particular episode, right? 
we're just going to come back on the next one. So I've done a little bit of uh, clearing up just to make sure that it looks a little bit more natural. Um, we're going to have to get rid of this guy over here. Although I don't think he's going to be attacking the cows unless they get really hungry, in which case maybe it will happen. Um, all right, good. So it's dark. We can probably add a couple pull of okay what is going on in here with the trees They're all interlaced so we're just going to clean this up right quick and make a gate for our pan over here let's put a torch it doesn't seem like they're burning the trees so that is good news I think this is lit enough. Uh, maybe another torch down over here. And this should be good. So let's get the gate going. And for the gate, it's two planks in the middle and two sticks, uh, four sticks on the side. Ta da! There we go. Perfect. So we are now all set with the with the terrain for our cow friends. Good. So I think this is going to be it for today, guys. In the next episode, we are going to continue with the build for our enchanting. Probably going to have to light that area up as well. It seems quite dark. That's a long, that's a tall tree. Tall, tall tree. And we are going to go on an adventure looking for cows, which I still don't know the direction, the possible direction to take. But we'll figure that out in the next one. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you all enjoyed this particular episode and we are going to see you all next time. Have a good evening. Bye bye.